Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. At the SEMA show in Las Vegas this year, the street performance truck is back. Well, at least Toyota wants to see if you want it back with a new X-Runner concept truck. Most of the big automakers have pulled out of the SEMA show in Las Vegas in the past couple of years, but Toyota is still suiting up and showing up with the goods. This year, they wowed the crowd with the stunning and arguably badass Tacoma X-Runner concept truck. They tell us that they honestly built the Street Performance concept truck based on the new Toyota Tacoma Extra Cab to gauge customer reaction to see if such a vehicle would resonate again in a world where lifted butch off-road machines have come to rule the showrooms. They want to know if the once popular mini street truck could make a comeback. Well, the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma is anything but a mini truck, but street performance it is. Because the new Tacoma shares a lot of its bones with the Tundra, squeezing its larger 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 and 10 speed automatic transmission under the hood was no problem. This gives this handsome beast 421 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque sent to its rear wheels through an electronic locking rear axle with a performance leaning 430 to 1 axle ratio. Styling is the other major component here. Though this thing is a Tacoma, it looks muscular and beefy in a way that a Tundra could only wish to be. It's got a completely redesigned and aggressive front fascia with a lower splitter that's actually quite complex and ornate, but seems to work. A center LED light bar, a large air scoop hood, and fat fender flares really give it a mean look. Down the sides, custom rockers connect those flares, and a custom side exhaust really makes it all work visually. At the rear smoke black tail lights, a smoothed out and filled in rear bumper panel for a clean look and a hard tonneau cover painted to match. The wheels are one-off 21-inch custom carbon fiber units from Lax Enterprises wrapped with huge Michelin 285-45R21 tires. Through them up front, you can see equally large brakes brought over from the Tundra. The suspension and frame have been completely reworked, strengthened, lowered, and retuned for performance street truck duty. A custom air suspension from the Tundra, custom valve Bilstein 2.5 inch remote reservoir dampers, and stiffer springs do the trick. Most of what made this happen are a lot of bits and pieces brought over from the Tundra, which widen the track considerably. Again, a benefit of the two trucks sharing a common platform. The cabin mostly remains stock Toyota Tacoma except for the steering wheel featuring paddle shifters and a few top grade accents to put icing on the cake. While a production version of the Toyota Tacoma X-Runner concept in literal form is highly unlikely, we could see a theme show up at some point in a much more watered down execution for consumer consumption. They always have to water it down for us. Sad, but true. Why? Well, this truck, as you see it, would likely cost a hundred grand plus, and nobody would swallow that. It's just true. In the meantime, at least they've shown their hand as to what's going on in their heads. Good things, I'd say. I think there's a market for this. I really do. I like it. I've liked them before. The Ford Lightning, Toyota built something similar to this a few years back that was more of a visual uh, sort of, you know, appearance package, but. We don't all need big lifted, I'm a himbo, 4x4 going camping with hair in my chest trucks. We don't need that. And don't get me wrong, I like that stuff. I have fun driving off-road and doing all of that. And I get it. I get it. But, you know, I'm pretty comfortable in my manhood and I can deal with a lower truck. And uh, even a four-cylinder turbo instead of that twin turbo V6. Wouldn't need to spend the money for that. So, maybe. We'll see. In the meantime, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay informed of everything we do. If you're not ready to commit to that, just see our latest video right there. Either way, stay tuned.